We're live in eight, seven, six, five, four. My fellow Americans, I'm here to speak to you tonight about a very serious subject, my legacy. Legacy is a 480 SAT word, which <laughs> turns out does not mean a woman with nice legs, as in uh, Paula Zahn, primo legacy. No, my friends, legacy means the impact one leaves behind. Oh, stop this, stop now, I've this. Asked my vice president Let's stop it, uh, Tom. Vice president Can you hear me? Uh, listen, fellas, but we're, we're going to stop it. Did we lose the feed? No, we're live. <laughs> I'd like both of you to clear the stage. I don't want anyone to think that you were part of this. You clear the stage. Go on. Go on, go on. Uh, this is not going to be a very good show tonight. And I think you should change the channel. What the change hell? the channel. When did they put this right, right now. Does anybody know what the hell's going on? Yeah, Betty, you turn off the TV, okay? No, no, I... I know it seems like this is supposed to be funny, but uh, tomorrow, tomorrow you're going to find out that it wasn't, and uh, by that time I'll have been fired. No, this, this is not. Some... Is this is not a sketch. Uh, this is real. You want to go to BTR? This show used to be cutting-edge political and social satire, but it's gotten lobotomized by a candy-ass broadcast network, hell-bent on doing nothing that might challenge their audience. We were about to do a sketch that you've seen already about 500 times. Yeah, yeah no one's going to confuse George Bush with George Plimpton. Now we get it. We're all being lobotomized by this country's most influential industry. It's just thrown in the towel on any endeavor to do anything that doesn't include the courting of 12-year-old boys. And not even the smart 12-year-olds, the stupid ones, the idiots, which there are plenty, thanks in no small measure to this network. So why don't you just change the channel? Turn off your TVs. Do it right now. Go ahead. Oh, I get it. This is not the uh, Get the camera off of it. Put it on what? Cut the boom mic, then. It's his show. I take my instructions from it's him. A between art and commerce. Well, there's always been a struggle between art and commerce. I mean, now I'm telling you, art is getting its ass kicked. And it's making us mean. And it's making us bitchy. It's making us cheap punks. That's not who we are. <laughs> People are having contests to see how much they can be like Donald Trump. Are you bleeping this out? Caesar. He hasn't said anything you're not allowed to say. He's telling people to change the channel. I don't think you have to worry about anybody changing the channel right now. Get him off or you don't have a job tomorrow. I'm running a live national broadcast. Can you threaten me later? We're eating worms for money. Who wants to screw my sister? Guys are getting killed in a war that's got theme music and a logo. That remote in your hand is a crack pipe. Oh, yeah, every once in a while we pretend to be appalled. Yes, I'm waiting for him to say something that isn't true. Who else in here knows how to do Don't this? Come to my control room. Get him off. You got two kids in school. What? She said you got two kids in private school whose father's five seconds away from never working again. Pornographers. It's not even good pornography. They're just this side of snuff films. And friends, that's what's next because that's all that's left. Cal, come on. And the two things that make them scared gutless are the FCC and every psycho religious cult that gets positively horny at the very mention of a boycott. All right, stand These by BTR. The We're gonna cut of. in early. It's Percy, feckless, off the charts, green-filled whorehouse. There he is. Network. And you're watching this thoroughly unpatriotic. Mother, go BTR now.